Hey there, welcome to this YouTube channel. My name is Ranjan Pandey and I have 11 plus years of experience working in IT industry in different companies. I have worked for many companies for 11, 11 and a half years now. I have been working in Europe for past seven years. So I would like to share with you how you can also become a successful software developer and how you can take your first step. So let's go ahead and talk about it. So today I'm going to talk about what are the different things that you should do to become a successful software developer. So first thing that you need to understand is that software development is a unique skill that cannot be gained in, in a day or a two. It needs practice experimentation. And why is that? The reason is with software development, you are actually going to program something. You are going to tell a piece of hardware, which is let's say your laptop or a computer or even a mobile device, which is made up of steel, fiber, rubber and some chips. So basically you are going to program this hardware and tell what it needs to do. So you need to understand it's not an easy task. Remember your childhood days when you were asked to learn a language. In simplistic term, very simple, even the English language. You were not perfect in one shot. You had to practice. You had to make mistakes. You had to learn from those mistakes. And then you had to reuse, apply, reuse, apply, and then you become what you are today in that language. For example, English. The same thing applies for programming language as well. Just that programming language is a bit more strict because you are programming in hardware. So learning in English, if you make a mistake, that's fine. But learning a programming language, if you make a mistake, the compiler of that language is not going to allow you to move forward. And that's hard truth that you have to understand and accept. Only when you accept, then you become a good developer. So, what is the first thing that you should do? You should not be afraid of errors. You should not be afraid of issues. Whether it's compilation issues or runtime issues, you should not be afraid of it. Doesn't matter whichever programming language you learn, whichever technology skill you learn, you will have certain syntax and when you apply those syntax or commands on this piece of hardware, you will definitely get errors and it won't be gone in one shot. If you are able to crack a program or write a piece of code in one shot without any error, that too in your initial days of learning, then I would say it's just a fluke. But if you got an error, and then you fix that problem and then you learned a concept and that's where you build a real concept, a foundational concept, which is needed for every software developer to understand. So what I'm trying to say here is don't be afraid of errors or issues while learning a new programming language. In fact, make friends with the error. See why is that error coming? Try to understand what is it saying? Always try to see the error, read the error description, details about the error. What exactly it is trying to say? Why, why exactly it is complaining about something? Because that hardware is programmed to only understand a set of predefined syntax rules and formats. So maybe you are missing out on certain specific format in which it should have been written. So try to read that. Every programming language gives you an error summary. So try to understand that as a summary and learn and then apply a solution and fix that problem. Then you will learn not only the concept, but you also learn the way how to solve the error or uh, debug that error. 
so that's number one rule never be afraid of errors or never give up with errors make friends with errors what is the number two rule so to become a successful developer or a software engineer it's a long term game it's not done in one day so you need to understand that you have to build patience and focus if you build patience and focus then trust me in very small span of time you will master any language and you will be really a good developer the reason why i say that is many people quit as soon as they get an error they don't even try to see why it is, there is an error what is the problem they don't even try to solve that error because they don't have patience and some people don't even read the error properly they don't even type the syntax properly it's because of lack of focus which is totally understandable if you are not a programmer if you have not written a single line of code when you are starting you will make mistakes writing certain commands because it's new to you but then when you get an error you should look at that error you should have patience to look at that error find a solution rectify your mistake rerun the program and then it will work and once it works you will be like happier than ever so trust me these two skills if you develop if you are already a developer and want to reskill or upskill or if you are somebody who is going to start your journey in IT industry or in software development so if you master these two skills making friends with error debugging and then building patience and focus i can assure you you can master any technology learn any skill with ease and remember if you master a programming language or a technology with debugging skills analyzing skills only then you are going to become a great developer or or also a great lead or even a great teacher to others because now you have the command of that language or command of the technology because you not only learn the syntax and applied it rather you also solve the problems that many others get and uh, are about to also get in future when others will learn those technologies or programming language so make friends with errors don't give up build patience and focus and i can assure you will be a great software developer thank you if you like this video then please share it with your friends and give a thumbs up like and don't forget to subscribe this youtube channel for more such videos bye bye i will see you next time